Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. So today we thought we would film our pregnancy Q&A. So I asked you guys over on Instagram um, to send in some questions, anything that you guys wanted to know since we have recently just announced. And you guys have sent in your questions, so we're gonna go through them. Can I go first? Yeah, and then, um, yeah, answer a few of them. So there you go. Do you wanna see my bump update while Ben's looking for a question? So I'm currently 17 weeks when I'm filming this. Literally 17 weeks today. This one is, congratulations, do you know the gender and will you be revealing? Ah, so we do know the gender. We actually found out recently. Um, we are going to be, of course, revealing it to you guys. We've already done our gender reveal. Um, but we did it on our own, like we did with Pia as well. So we just did it, the three of us. Um, to find out the gender, but we haven't told all family and friends yet. So once we do that, which we will be doing very, very soon, um, then we'll tell you guys, of course. So next question is, I have a nine month old and our second is due in September. Are you nervous to have two under twos? Congrats. Thank you. Congrats to you as well. Mm -hmm. um, no, I'm not nervous to have two under two. Um, I think that'd be quite fun having them the same age. I've always wanted to have my kids like a similar age. So obviously I grew up with Aisha and yeah. I loved having her so close to me as well. We're the same so age. We are, of the course, exact the same exact same age. age. So I, I always knew, we both, me and Aisha both always said we wanted kids like quite close together. Yeah, I, I've always wanted to have, um, I, wanted to, I said to myself, I want to have two children by the time I'm not, by the time I finish being 30, if that makes sense. Yeah. So by the time yeah, I'm 31, he has always said that. I've always you wanted get? to have two children. And <laughs> well, then I said you I'd manifested always, that. Yeah, and then I said I'd always have one. I don't, we might have another one in a few years' time. Yeah, a, a, a good, a bigger gap. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm not going to be pregnant next year. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, no. <laughs> like you have a year off, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> so the next question is, how far along are you? I'm actually 17 weeks today, and um, when you're watching this video, I'll probably be just a little bit after that, but yeah, I feel like it's gone so quick. Do you suffer from nausea or sickness? So I actually didn't whatsoever. I, I literally, <laughs> did you? <laughs> you're oh. asking me these questions. <laughs> well, the only symptoms that I have is I've just been extremely tired, but I've literally just found out today that it's because my iron levels are super, super low, so I know I have to take some medication for that so hopefully that will start to help but other than that i've been very very lucky no nausea no sickness mm. nothing so you're having twins i am not having twins no just the one baby i smiled then and they're <laughs> gonna be like yeah they yeah are. you are but actually we're not having twins. no just one baby yeah. um no you know what i always said i would love to have twins but when i had a baby I thought, God, I wouldn't be able to carry two when I had pee in my belly. Yeah. But also, I, I knew that it's a thing that apparently when you are a twin, it always skips a generation. So what trimester are you in? So I'm in my second trimester now. How many children do you want in total? How many children do you want in total? I'm, I, I would say three. Mm -hmm. But if by some chance we were to have twins after this <laughs> he, one. He really wants twins. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be bothered to have four. Ben would have loads of kids if it was up to him, wouldn't yeah, you? I'd like, have one a year he, for the next ten years. He's just, honestly, he's just baby obsessed. No, what I'll say, what I'll say is, if yeah, I'll, I'll be happy with um, with three, I yeah. think. Um, because, like I've said, we don't want to have one anytime soon after this one. No. Um, so I feel like that would be like sort of the last one when it happens. Yeah, I agree, yeah. But if it was to turn out to be twins, I wouldn't be like upset. I'd be really happy about yeah. it. Yeah. So. I think with me, I'll be happy with two or three. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Did you and Aisha plan to have your babies near a similar time? No, like when I found out Aisha was pregnant with Mila, obviously I was over the moon. Look at her now, she's just, just so beautiful. But me and Ben previously was already trying for a baby before I knew she was pregnant, but it just, did, it just didn't happen for us, so. Obviously it took us a little bit longer. Um, and then finally, the year after, I think, it was on, we wasn't trying constantly every single month. It was on and off, wasn't yeah. it? Like we sort of just, I'd get a few times, we're just like, oh, I'd give up. Like, yeah. and then we'd just leave it and yeah, then sure we'd go back to it. Me. Yeah, so yeah, it just happened. Like I, obviously I've always wanted to have kids. If you know Ben and you've watched us for a while, he's been dying to have a baby for so long. It just took us a little bit longer. So then when I fell pregnant, I fell pregnant just after Aisha, which yeah, worked out great. And now obviously Pierre and Mila absolutely are obsessed with each other. 
Um, and then obviously me and Aisha have always said to each other, we wanted babies close. She obviously went next. We felt ready. And a miracle happened and now I'm pregnant again. <laughs> I don't see it as, I know obviously I feel like people go, um, oh, Zelia will be pregnant now. Or oh, now Zelia's had the baby. Aisha will be pregnant. Like we kind of like laugh about it because it's funny because that's exactly what's happened. Yeah. And we don't, like we think it's really cute because how amazing now that our kids get to hang out and yeah. grow up together obviously like Mila, cousins uh, Mila's obviously a little bit older than Pia but like them two love each other so much yeah. they scream at each other like when they when they see each yeah. other like, with, with, <laughs> they get with so happiness excited. And, and like Mila is the only person that really makes Pia laugh <laughs> yeah. but just she doesn't do yeah. anything she just stands she just there goes, and just makes Ew. noises and yeah <laughs> she goes and, like that yeah and Pia just literally just cries with laughter it's so funny yeah she really does you probably have seen some videos I have posted where Mila is just making Pia laugh I think Mila can do anything and Pia will laugh so she's like her biggest fan yeah and she knows that she makes Pia laugh <laughs> as well because like she we'll goes, say we'll, we'll say to her like do it again and she'll start going like this just waving yeah. her around yeah and then so Pia funny. will just be literally laughing her head off yeah so, like I just think it's great. I'm just so happy. I think I, I I come from a really big family anyway. Like I have obviously two brothers. I have four sisters. I have a massive family. So I have four sisters. So I've always wanted a big family. And if it was up to Ben, I'd be popping babies out all the time. So yeah, I, I love the fact that it's happened like this. And I'm, I, I should the same. Have any cravings? Would you say I've had any cravings? Um, I'd definitely say that you're more like you like sweets a lot at the moment yeah, i don't like i did that once i was obsessed no, you've had a lot of sweets i don't think i have you literally tell you... chocolate i eat every day yeah chocolate not sweets sweets we went one day and i bought loads of sweets and yeah i did eat them all okay maybe but, yeah, but... You, yeah chocolate i think is what you're thinking yeah maybe just sweet stuff sweet foods yeah definitely into sweet we love our bread as well don't we not that i'm yeah. or anything but he loves her bread as well. Yeah. Roast. I'll t I think yeah, a she... roast was one of my cravings. Yeah. Was this planned? Was planned, but we weren't putting any pressure on ourselves like we did the first time. It's the first time we, like, we got pretty down about it. But yeah. this time, we just went with it. And, you know, rather than us checking every day or every month. Checking to... the app a mile of yeah, in. That sort of stuff. We but just... I will say that app did help. Like, it was very useful. It was very useful. Yeah. Um, but this time, we sort of, you know, um, we didn't really check no. and then like when Did Zell know. found out she was massively surprised just because you know it wasn't you know yeah. and then when she obviously but she... I feel like it was nice it was nicer that way because we both weren't like stressing out like is it going to happen this? yeah there you was know no what pressure I mean? yeah I you think know? it was and nice and also we had P to look at uh, like um, look after as well yeah. so it was like it was good yeah yeah <laughs> so not planned no planned but no pressure yes I've seen a few comments say, oh, so you was pregnant in Cyprus. So for anyone that doesn't know, when I was in Cyprus at the beginning of the year, I posted a picture and I had a few comments of people telling me that I looked pregnant. And at the time... You got pretty down about it, didn't you? I was actually really like upset because I felt so body self-conscious. Obviously, I just had a baby. I was eight months postpartum. Um, and yeah, I was very self-conscious, but I just thought... I literally barely wore a bikini or anything because I was really self-conscious. I always had myself covered up. So I think when I saw that message, it did did, did upset Those me. Messages. Those messages. Those messages, yeah. Um, it did upset me. So that's why I felt the need to just say something because I just thought, I'm going to say something because I won't want you know anyone else to feel that sort of way. Zero idea that I was pregnant. I had pads upstairs um, in the hotel room because I genuinely thought I was going to come on my period because I was due... But my periods are never really the same. They're always a little bit like off, like by a few days. So I just thought, you know, I didn't even think anything of it. I had cramps and everything. And then I realized when I'd got back to London, I was late and I was like, oh my God, imagine if people knew I was pregnant before I even I knew. And you did, because I was pregnant. Yeah. I took a test and I was pregnant. I was- Did you hit it from me? Yeah, I hit it from you. I, hit, I honestly- well, I like that, <laughs> Yeah, of course. It I was, think it was, it was fun. Good, it was a good surprise. I got a surprise and you got a surprise. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, yeah, to answer that question, I had no idea, but you guys, clearly you can tell by the body because no. I had absolutely no well, idea. You, you must have been, what, five weeks in Cyprus? No, I wasn't five weeks. No, you were like two weeks. I was, yeah, I was, you know, I don't even think you're showing at that point, but clearly I just had a little bit of a belly because yeah. um, obviously you don't show for a few weeks anyway. So I probably was only about two weeks, so I don't know, maybe... I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe I just looked a little bit chunky. I don't know. I really don't know, but I was pregnant. <laughs> she was pregnant, but too early for anyone too to Too early notice. for a bump. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got a lot of psychics online, so yeah. Will the initial be a P to match Pia? I'm going to say no. I don't think it is. We haven't got a name yet. We don't really, do we? No. We're not, like, We've only just found out the gender as well. So yeah. We haven't really put too much thought into yeah. it. We've got a few... There's a few names. But nothing that we're completely set on. They're no, set on, set on. Yeah, not, not 100% sure yet. He's so close in age. How is Ben mentally with this new challenge? Um, I'm absolutely fine. I couldn't be happier. Um, I don't... There was never a reason... Like, having a baby was never a really a reason as to why. I um, obviously went through my mental stage. I think anyone can go through a mental stage for any reason. Um, I don't... It's not a challenge. I absolutely love having Pia, and you know, I love it when Mila and Maya are here. They're like, I love having all the kids around. I think it's so fun. I don't really see it as a he's, challenge. He's the dad that plays with all the kids. I'm the, That's I'm the, the, fun, dad. I'm the fun person. <laughs> he is. And I love it. I love taking them to the park, you know, I like, yeah. you know, chasing them around. Like, Pia, Pia's just got to the stage Belly now. Laughing, yeah, you? Pia's got to the stage now where I can, like, She'll be sat like on the floor or something, and I'll get on my hands and knees and I'll chase after her, and she'll just start like running away, yeah. like crawling away really fast. So I love that. Yeah. So to finish on that one, um, I'm absolutely fine. Um, it's not a challenge to me. Um, me and Zell work amazing as a team, um, and I think we're going to absolutely smash it again. You know, we we love having Pia, and we can't wait to have anyone. Yeah, I can't wait. It's last year anyway, and you know I've worked absolutely so hard on myself, and I've had Zell's support, I've had Pia's support. Um, you know, I'm 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 a totally new person, better person. Someone said I so knew it, but didn't want to offend slash upset you. Yeah, I've seen a couple of people write this, so I did try to hide the bump. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is it really, is it really obvious? Um, I wouldn't. I thought say I looked really bloated, obvious. but I don't know. I guess I can definitely see a bump forming You've now. Got, um, some food yeah, on I know. I've got a bit of food on me. <laughs> um, I. Yeah, like, I've had a few people say, oh, I knew, but I, do, I didn't want to offend you. That's, like, it's absolutely fine. Um, I did obviously go through a stage of wearing baggy clothes. I think when, when I think the only time that you actually was offended is when you was in Cyprus. When I was in Cyprus, That's the only yeah. time you felt, like, obviously a bit I have down no about idea. it. And not, not necessarily offended, because it's not anyone, like, directly... No, no, you no. You know, like, I think you just felt a bit, like, down from it. I think because I was already very body conscious, like my body was so different. Obviously I just had a baby, I was on holiday, very awkward with bikinis and stuff like that. So I think I was just very self-conscious, wasn't yeah. I? So I think, and then that's why, because usually I just would like take it on the chin, like it's fine if I look a bit chunky, I'm not bothered. Um, I just enjoy my food. But yeah, I think because I was already mentally, like I was feeling a bit down about my body that's why I said something but yeah like that's absolutely fine nice and I, cute. I, I um yeah I guess I do look like I'm getting a little bump now and yeah I'm really excited I can't wait to have a bump again it feels weird I know yeah, I literally just had literally one just said the, the second time you're the second time pregnant your bump goes bigger than the first yeah time. I heard that well, I heard bigger, that bigger faster bigger yeah bigger, faster. it gets bigger faster yeah I know because I felt like by the end of P Jesus Christ my my belly was like out here I've still got a video which I want to recreate with the new baby bump so I can see like side by side like literally right at the end I, I just won't delete it off my memory card oh, yeah. um, you know which one I mean I always go don't yeah. delete it don't delete yeah. it um, so I'm gonna do like the same sort of video um, any advice for someone that's been trying for a first time uh, that's trying for a baby for the first time been trying no luck again oh. what Zell said use the app is it the flow app yeah so it's the flow app that's what we use the first time so you can obviously track your periods and you can also track when you're ovulating and obviously when you're ovulating is when you try for a baby obviously with us this time round we didn't we didn't want to put any pressure on ourselves because it was stressing like we we didn't want to stress ourselves out like we did the first time because yeah. we just really really wanted to have a baby yeah. this time we was like if it happens it's meant to be and we were lucky enough for it to happen again. So I just would say, don't put pressure on yourself, but also if you want to download the Flow app, that was amazing help for yeah. us. Um, and also it like tells you the size of the baby and stuff, when obviously when you yes, put it in. Yes, yeah, the app's great. And stuff. It's really good. Yeah, I use the app now to like track, obviously, my pregnancy. Very clever. Who did you tell first? So I actually told Aisha, so you guys will see, that will be the next video you see is 
me finding out I'm pregnant with my twin sister. So that was, yeah, that was really fun. Watching and the video is quite, is quite funny. It's funny, isn't it? Because you had no idea. He was downstairs and I'll just like, I'll just say a little bit just so you can obviously see when the video comes out. But he had no idea. We had to I told him secretly, I oh, she's got belly ache. She feels really awkward. So she keeps needing to go to the toilet, but I'm going to go with her. Um, so don't make her feel awkward about it. If I keep going out of the room, you know why. And he was like, oh, she okay? Uh, yeah, I was actually like, does she, need, do, does she need me to do anything? Yeah, was he was like, like she all right? Yeah, and I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, like she's fine. She just feels really awkward. I was just quite open. And she she's... told, Zill told me she was on her period as well. Yeah, I also said I was on my period, but I told them all that I was on my period. And obviously me and I were secretly upstairs doing tests. Because we were actually planning on going swimming that day. It was like, oh, I can't, I was like, oh, period. I can't. I had to, but you weren't even on your period. I wasn't on my period, <laughs> but I know. I, I was like, I can't. You you guys would have all been like... So you I wouldn't. Oh, I thought you could go swimming on your period. Well, I wouldn't personally go um, swimming on my period. I think obviously some people can use tampons, but I don't I don't wear tampons. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Imagine having to, imagine if you you had to go and buy a tampon and put it in. And you know, yeah. <laughs> exactly, I wouldn't buy them to waste them. I know people need them, so I wouldn't do that anyway. We'll end it on the last question, which um, a lot of people have also asked: is when am I due? Actually, due the end of September, so maybe a little October baby. So we'll see. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. I couldn't be happier. Um, we're so, both super, super excited. I can't wait for Pia to be a big sister. I think she'll be amazing. Yeah. She absolutely loves being around kids anyway. So I just she loves feel like everyone. She loves Maya as well, doesn't yeah, she? She, she, she always tries to like go to them. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like all babies probably do, but no, when it's your own. Yeah, some are shy. Mila. You, was shy. She was really well, shy. Well, she probably is towards other people now. Yeah. She's not, she's not that bad. Whereas Pia's not really that shy right Pia's now. Pia's smart than everyone. Like. She's smart, yeah, she is. And oh, honestly, like she has changed our lives so much for the better. And I'm just so excited to now bring another baby into our life. But yeah. And on that note, we're going to have to go because Pia's away. Pia's woke up from a nap, so we're going to wrap up the video here. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash it a big thumbs up. We hope to see you in our next one soon. And that's it. Bye.